hope you'll be watching my other tutorials about uh, dashboard creation, tokens, base searches, and things like that. This tutorial, we're going to go deeper into using tokens and giving us a little more free form, the ability to leverage the results of a query and use those tokens, whether to be free form in an HTML table or whether it be to fill out other dashboards. Tokens can be used for a lot of things. Um, this is not the prettiest dashboard, but I want to show a little flexibility here. Um, if you don't use tokens, you can use a, a table and have the table filled out. But this here uses an HTML table, and you could do all sorts of coloring, put grids on there. You could place different placement, things like that. But the concept is, if I come in here and I put a uh, an IP address, and I hit submit, it will go run the query, run some arbitrary query, and fill out this information. So you can display stuff in a different format. You're not stuck primarily with just the tables and the uh, panels that Splunk provides you. And, and so that gives you a lot of flexibility in what you want to do. And so let's talk about how to create something very similar to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's get our query working because it's a whole lot easier to troubleshoot if you've got a working query. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say index equals lame training source type equals lame con i'm just going to grab make sure i half the time i'll write index these things wrong okay i'm getting fields back that's good source ip in this situation source ip equals 10.0.0.12 i use that because we have a lookup that explain calls this out so i want to i want to use that and so we're going to use this validate that we get back some information cool now we'll use a we'll take this head off and i'm going to do lookup and we're going to go ip inventory dot csv and ip as source ip and we're going to output the host name we're going to output the purpose now nah, we'll just put OS and those are fields in my lookup and so I'm just going to I'm going to go look at this lookup and match on this IP address and give me two additional fields from that lookup. I have videos on how to do lookups. I highly recommend looking into them if you're not familiar with how this works. And so now if I do a table, I should be able to go table source IP host name OS. Cool. And in this situation, we're just going to grab the first one. No reason to put a whole bunch of them there. Cool. That'll work for my. Uh, that'll work for what I'm trying to do here. So now we will build a dashboard. We're going to build it right here in Lame Training, so that we can actually reference it here in our uh, different topics, and you'll be able later generations will be able to have this dashboard for them that stuff to look at. So we will call this lame channel token usage. Explain how to leverage tokens to fill HTML displays. Something like that. That'll work. We'll make this shared in app. We'll make it a classic dashboard and create. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put that query in there. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put search and then you need a query. And so now we have, we just can go steal this query right here as it's written. Paste it in there. We know it's going to work because it, it worked in the SPL. And now we need to set an earliest and latest field. And just because I want to knock them both out, latest. And actually, at this moment, we don't have something for that. And I don't want to hard code it in. So let's go put an input. I'm going to put a uh, time. We're going to put a text box in there. And let's put a submit button. Simple enough. Hit save, edit. Now we'll come to the source. And we're going to use the token from here, field one, 
field one dot earliest. That will grab the value that's chosen here. And then we can do the same thing with latest. Make sure to close the, put the dollar sign on both sides. And now we need this. We don't want to hard code the IP in, so we'll just put some token called dollar sign IP. And what do we know? We got there's our input text token. I could change it in the GUI. I can also just change it there. Replace that. We'll give the a nice little message, insert an IP. And if we do that, we've got something we can put in here. Now if I hit submit. It fills the stuff up here, definitely posted to the page. There's the IP address, but it didn't, didn't do anything. Well, that's because we need to assign these tokens. And so the easiest way to do that is I'm going to put right here. It's called the done command. The done command says, hey, when this query is done, do something. And we're going to call set token equals. And again, this can be any value, but I'm just going to say source IP. And then I'm going to set it to, there's my set, and I'm going to call it dollar sign result dot source IP. Result is a special field. This is a special variable reserved for the results of the query. So it's going to come back and tell me that there is a token. It's going to be called toke source IP, and it's going to grab the results and get the dot source IP. It's going to grab the source IP from that query. And it's going to assign that value into toke source IP. We're just going to copy this three times, two times. And we're going to call source IP, then we're going to call toke OS and host name. And we're going to grab the cor corresponding fields. So instead of source IP, we'll use OS. And here we will use host name. Just like that, now we've set three tokens. Again, this isn't going to do us a whole lot of good, so we set a token. We now need to use them. And so now I'm going to show you how to do HTML just right on in Splunk. You come down after your fields. Uh, you'll Usually if you add a panel, you'll notice it will add a row right to your Splunk, and then we add a panel. And we just need to give put something in there. And so I will just use an HTML tag. And now I can just write standard old HTML. So I'm going to write it, put a table, I'm going to put a row, and then I'm going to put it TD. And let's make the uh, table width 100%. So you got your full markup here. I'm going to do a, I'm going to make this a header. And I'm going to say um, source IP colon, and then I'm going to write in there my toke source IP. And then I can copy this, put another field in there. And instead of being source IP, we'll call it OS. And here we will do host name. And switch this to toke OS, toke hostname. We hit save, and now we have that same format, and boom, it fills it out. And it went and grabbed Windows 10 and the hostname Batman123, just like we were hoping it would do. Now, if I put something in there that it doesn't have, like 10.9.9.9, don't think I have that IP address. It's going to return back these fields back to no value. And that is as simple as it goes to being able to use IP addresses inside, uh, use tokens inside other things. Um, look for my next video where I'll show how to uh, do some more fun, crazy things with tokens. Tokens are really powerful in dashboarding. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like this, if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel. Um, and I hope this helps you become uh, move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.